What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight! Tonight! Okay, making their debut on the channel tonight! Tonight! We have Bring Me The Horizon. Yes, indeed, how about that? Bring Me The Horizon, making their debut on the channel. Okay, this comes as a request from... Jose Yancey and Karma Status. They both want to see me do a reaction to this song by Bring Me the Horizon called Kingslayer. And it features baby metal. So this ought to be interesting. Uh, have I heard this song before? No. To the best of my knowledge, I have never heard this song before. This does not raise any alarms with me. It does not ring any bells with me in any way, shape, or form. However... There's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a second, I've heard this song before, I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This was posted by Bring Me The Horizon. Okay, I don't know how they are about blocking. I guess we'll find out. And the video has 7.5 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? You ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Bring me the horizon. Kingslayer lyric video featuring baby metal. I don't know who I should be more scared about blocking. Bring Me the Horizon or Baby Metal? I know I've never dealt with Bring Me the Horizon before, so I don't know if they block or not. I have dealt with Baby Metal, and they will block at will. So, we'll see how this goes. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. <laughs> There's a lot of great things happening here. Um, I love the energy. I love the drive. I love the tone. Um, the vocals I'm even digging. There, I mean, look. Is there some processing going on? Yeah, there is. There, there is some processing. And to be quite honest, the, the, the processing is a tiny bit overdone. But... Knowing that baby metal is involved in this, I'm not a thousand percent surprised. I'm not surprised by that at all. Uh, a, a lot of what baby metal has done from what I've heard from their studio stuff, not so much from the live, but from the studio, it does sound processed. Now, granted, 
When it comes to studio stuff, I think I've only heard like two songs. So, but I, I do remember in making the comments that there's a lot of processing, and I guess that's to be expected when you're dealing with baby metal. So I'm not entirely 100% shocked. Now, how much having baby metal in here affected the amount of processing that is involved? I don't know. If baby metal were not involved in this song, would the song be as processed or would it be about the same? I have no clue. I couldn't tell you. Um, I don't know how much processing Bring Me the Horizon uses on a regular basis because honestly, I've never heard anything from them other than this song that I'm hearing right now for the first time. So I don't know if processing is a typical practice of Bring Me the Horizon. I have no clue. Well, the only way to find out, I guess, that's to listen to more Bring Me the Horizon. So, if you guys have requests, you know how to make requests, right? You do it on the Patreon page. Don't do it. Look, you can make suggestions in the in the comments all you want, but unless you go to the Patreon page and make them official requests, there's nothing I can do. So, anyway, uh, let's keep going here. Diddle it, diddle it, diddle it, diddle it. That those those uh six knees. One to the one to the one to the one to the really nice. I I wanna go back, I wanna hear it again. I'm sorry. No! No! I don't care! Hey! It's my show! If I wanna go back, we're gonna go back. I wanna hear that again. That was really, really cool. I dug that part. a lot of really cool nuances being thrown here just a couple i mean it, it, it's nothing huge there's nothing like my it's nothing like that's going to take over the song but they're just doing little things here and there like changing the feel from that double time back to straight time back to double time feel you know that they just did right there you know what i mean that was cool doing that breakdown with a diddle it diddle it diddle it diddle it those those triplets that was really well it's not triplets it's actually 16s it's just 316s what do they, what do they, what do they, what do they, it's really quick, but, uh, it, it's just one measure, you know, and it's very, no, actually, no, sorry, it's two measures, my bad, two measures, uh, really cool though, very effective, help break up the monotony of the song, um, bringing in Baby Mel to do the vocals in those parts of doing it, having to do it half in Japanese and half in English, I think that's pretty smart, actually, um, would it have worked if they had done it all in English? It would have worked. I, I think it would have worked. Would it have been as effective? I, uh, probably. I mean, it probably would have been about as effective. But having to do it in Japanese like that, it just added that little touch of distinctiveness from just doing playing old English. You know what I mean? And if, look, listen, if they can sing in Japanese, why not? What, what, where's the harm? Where's the harm? 
They made it work. They made it fit. So no issues there, no problems there. I, I dug it. I thought it was really cool. Uh, and I like how they did the flip where they had, uh, on the first verse, they had the male vocal. On the second verse, they had Baby Mel come in and do the, the second verse, which I thought that was really cool. Then you went to pre-chorus with the male vocal back to uh, back to the second chorus. On the second chorus, they everybody laid out, like all the, the drums and the guitar, and they all laid out with the uh, keyboard still playing underneath to add the color and fill out the sound while, uh, I believe, it's probably just Sue Metal uh, doing the vocalizations there. Really cool. Really cool. Uh, again, breaking up the monotony of the song. You always want to be able to do those things to keep the song going and make it sound fresh and make it sound different. So, great job. Let's finish this out and we'll get to the review. This is your wake up call. We're going to the hole. <laughs> the processing sounds. Um, I get it. I, I do get it. I just, I, I personally, I don't know. I don't know. I, let me, I got to think about this. Give me some time. Uh, give me a couple minutes. Let me gather my thoughts and I'll see you in the review. We'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Bring Me the Horizon with Kingslayer featuring Baby Metal. This was a request from Jose Yancey and uh, Karma Status. Okay, um, I had to give this some thought. I really did. I, I, I kept going back and forth between two scores. And the, the score I'm on, it's actually, believe it or not, it's the higher score. Um, and the reason I'm, I'll, I'll explain why I'm giving it the higher score uh, in detail, I promise. Let me get the score first. On a scale of 1 to 10, I am going to give that an 8.2. Yep, 8.2. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay. Uh, the song as a whole, I enjoyed. I, I did enjoy the song. It had a great feel. It had a great tempo. Uh, it had that aggressive feeling to it. That it was. It felt really good. It was energetic. It, it got my head moving. Um, I could groove to the song very easily. This was not a hard song to, to groove to at all. It was very, very simple to groove to it. Uh, as far as the tone of the song, like the, the instrumentation stuff, uh, this is where I had a little bit of my issue. A lot of processing. A lot of processing. Like, in certain points, a little overdone. Now, this is where I was flip-flopping between scores. I was debating between a 7.8 and an 8.2. And I kept flip-flopping between these two. I decided on the 8.2 for one reason and one reason only. I don't know how much processing Bring Me the Horizon uses on a regular basis. That might be part of their signature sound. I don't know. I won't know unless I listen to more of them. I'm going to go and give them the benefit of the doubt that the reason there was so much over-processing is because Baby Metal was involved, okay? That being said, I went on the side of belief. I, I, I believe that is the case. I believe there was that much over-processing due to the fact that Baby Metal was involved in the songwriting process, as far as I know. I don't know if they actually were involved in the actual songwriting process, though. They may have written the song, finished it out, and said, yeah, you know what? It'd be really cool if they got Baby Metal in on this, and then they called them up, you know? It might have been that. Or they may have written the song with Baby Metal in mind and had that processing there. Or they had Baby Metal in the actual songwriting process, and they all wrote it together. I don't know which one it is. 
I'm leaning toward the latter. It'd be said, which means Baby Metal would have been involved in the songwriting process, which leads me to believe that's where some of the overprocessing came from. Now, I could be absolutely 100% wrong about that, but I don't know because this is my first time hearing the song and I, I have no clue. So I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna give them the 8.2 and I'm gonna hope that if I do more from Bring Me the Horizon, hopefully that over-processing won't be there. Like I said, I don't mind processing. I, I don't mind it when it's done tastefully and when it's not overdone. There were some parts in this that it was overdone, but I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt because Baby Metal's involved. Now, as far as Baby Metal being involved in the song, did it add to the song? Did it subtract from the song? I don't know because I've never heard the song without it. And so I, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Uh, I will tell you that having them in the song sounded good. It, it sounded really good. Having them involved with the vocals on the choruses in particular, it, very effective. Uh, I like the fact that they gave Baby Metal the second chord, the, the second verse to sing, and they did half in Japanese, half in English. I thought that was pretty cool. I, I, I thought that was a nice twist. I felt like it was a nice addition. It did break up the monotony of the song. Um, and that was a nice addition. It really was. Having to do the choruses, nice touch. Very nice touch. Um, no, overall, look, the song was enjoyable. I, I cannot deny I was grooving along to it. I loved that breakdown. It, it wasn't even a breakdown. It wasn't even It wasn't even a full breakdown. It was just two measures where they did 16th. Those that did it, did it, did it, did it. Those three 16ths. What do they, what do they, what do they, what do they? What do they? It was fun. That was nice. It was very effective. Effective, and I absolutely dug it. Um, other than that, I mean, there really isn't anything else to say. I mean, the, the song was fun. I enjoyed it. I would listen to this again. I thought it was a great song. So that's why we're going to go up to 8.2. I'm going to err on the side of judgment here, and I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. So until next time. Now, look, if they if I do more Bring Me the Horizon and they're overprocessed, I'm going to hammer them. I'm just letting you know. So be forewarned. <laughs> if you guys feel like going on the Patreon page and requesting more Premium of the Horizon, look, make sure you include songs that are not overly processed. Because I'm telling you right now, if I hear it, I'm going to slam them because I'm going to remember this and I'm going to remember that I gave them the benefit of the doubt. So keep that in mind. Now you're probably wondering, is an 8.2 a great score? It actually is a great score. It, by definition, it's a great score. If you're not sure about that, take a look down below in the video description. You'll very clearly find my scoring system chart where you will see that 8.0 to 8.9 is the grading scale for great. Just remember, 8 is great. Anything in the 8s, doesn't matter if it's 8.1 or 8.9, it doesn't matter. It's great. It just, there's different variations of great, that's all. But it's still getting a great score. And 8.2, by definition, is a great score. That is where we are, that is where we're going to stay. 8.2, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you did enjoy the show, and you'd like to see more videos like this, feel free to join the fan base by clicking on that button down there. Yeah, you know the button I'm talking about. Click on that button, join the fan base to become one of us. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't feel like clicking on that button, that's okay. I still respect you. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. It'll do me a world of good and it will do you absolutely no harm whatsoever. Finally, if you guys do join the fan base, you will find a bell down there that you can click on by clicking on that bell. It'll keep you up to date on everything happening with this channel, including when new content gets dropped. So, if you want to stay in the know, click on the bell and you'll stay in the know. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Until next time, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later, peace.